Me vuelvo mañana por la mañana después del entierro. Pero te podía despillar unos días libres. Ellos lo iban a entender, ¿no? There was a place. So, interesting thing about There was a place. Did anybody... Uh, I thought this was a really wonderful movie uh, about forgiveness and the power of forgiveness. Any opening thoughts on There was a place? Yes. First of all, really nice screenwriting. Oh, it's tempting when you write something like this to over-explain everything so that the audience understands it. And yet, these three people, they know whatever is wrong between them. We kind of have to glean it out ourselves, and that's good. You know, bad dialogue would have everybody talking on the nose, so we know exactly what is the poison between these three people. And how the sister hasn't forgiven the brother for leaving their little village and going off to find his way in the world and such. We just figured that out on our own. Uh, very beautifully photographed. And uh, I like that he launches the boat, takes Dad out for the last ride in the boat. But at the same time, it seemed to me kind of wrong that they didn't all go in the boat to scatter the ashes. That he chose, he made the choice almost to, I'm going to do this on my own and cut the other two out of that decision. Yeah, that is an interesting point. They make a comment in the film where they're like, oh, well, he only went sailing with you, and he never went out again after you left. But yeah, did anyone pick up the fact that when he finally goes to the studio, every single photo, including the one reflected in the mirror, are all boats? Yeah. I was just, you know, they never really said uh, what the father actually did, but because I guess of the, um, maybe the emotional intensity and the, the themes, it didn't really matter what he did. It's just, you know, just focusing on the forgiveness factor and how they, they felt about each other in family. Yeah, and that's one of the things, like, there comes a point where the, the man is dead, his flaws are behind him now, all they have left to do is reconcile whatever the pieces are left. And, uh, and they, do they manage that? Do you think there's, like, real forgiveness that happens here? Well, it's a, it's a beautiful film. It's beautifully shot. It's got lovely, lovely pictures in it. It's got great acting. Immediately prior to the sailing and the, the uh, before the sun went out sailing, there was a moment between him and his sister where they were holding, locking arms. And prior to that in the film, they had made a comment about fixing this, and there was a palpable tension between the two, between the siblings. Uh, and that seemed to me to be you know, calling towards the future and not just the closure of the father's passing and whatever he'd done, uh, because that, that seemed to be more the present thing about what do the people do in the aftermath of someone's passing. Um, whether or not um, he, the son, forgives his father uh, in scattering his ashes, uh, I'm not sure if that gave him closure or not. It was. Perhaps even when he went out to do that, he did not know whether he would get closure from even scattering the ashes. Yeah, you don't really know if the son is just fulfilling something he thinks his father might want, or if he's doing it for himself. You, you don't really know. And anyone have any thoughts on the character of the mother? Because there's this one moment in the scene where they kind of almost hinted that, you know, what he did, whatever he did wrong, was against her. And sh her response is, you don't think I know that? And uh, she really is like the understated, the understated character here, where there's so much complexity behind her relationship with this man we never even know or see. Yeah, I mean, she was my, uh, she was my favorite character. Um, <clears throat> she seemed very graceful under the circumstances. And when you know her family had fallen apart, her husband has passed away, the family's completely dysfunctional. The son comes back and kind of throws the fact that maybe he was cheating or having affairs on her almost as a, like a weapon to her, and she you know, responds, Look, I knew that, and he's like, why are you not more mad? And she's like, that's not the way to live. Um, you know, she kind of, that's not the way I want to live my life, I guess, is was the sentiment. Mm -hmm. and, um, and I felt that kind of understated the whole, the whole movie. It was like a nice counterpoint to the movie before, which was like kind of chaotic and grimy, and this was kind of like calm and peaceful, which is kind of maybe strange under the circumstances that the whole story set around a death, but yeah, I really, li I really liked her character. Absolutely, when I was watching it for the first time, I thought, wow, she has poise and grit, yeah. and I like that. And she really is, she is the, the thing that turns the whole tide of the tone of the film. 
because everything is angry and full of this pregnant despair that we really can't tell. And then she has this one scene and everything lightens. And we don't know what it is exactly, but we know it's important. I think the mother was portrayed in a stereotypical way, playing the martyr. And uh, that's very, um, I think that's something very Spanish, that the mother is uh, supposed to, to uh, sacrifice, to, to keep the family together. So she, um, she forgives uh, whatever it is that uh, the husband did, just uh, to keep peace. Uh, you know, typical martyrdom. Uh, of the, I think probably of the religious background of um, the, uh, the Spanish uh, um, cultural background coming through there, mm -hmm. where the, the, the woman is uh, expected to uh, play the martyr, to, to do to sacrifice for the family. That's an excellent counterpoint to that. I mean, we do have the character of the daughter who doesn't seem to have that at all. If she she transgresses that perhaps stereotype, but yeah, she's maybe the more modern version of that. Beautiful film with lots to say, lots to unpack.